Hello everyone, this is Val from Val's Craft Creations and tonight I'm bringing you the second part of the tutorial where we are um, altering or repurposing a Dollar Tree uh, mini photo album. And on the first part, let me show you what we did before I show you the paper and all that stuff. We already um, decorated the pages for our album. We also um, did a binding. I just uh, opened the um, bows here um, just to be able to work on my pages better. But we tied this here with a bow with bows, and that's the binding for our pages. And let me show you inside. I already went ahead and before I started this second video, second tutorial, I added my trim to the edges of my pages just to take that out of the way. So let me show you. That's the only thing that I did off camera. So I added trim on some places um, just to decorate uh, that part and reinforce where we connected, you know, the paper here. Um, because since we're gonna have this binding here that you're gonna be able to open your book flat like this, I reinforced my edges with washi tape and I did put this trim here. So my paper won't break this way, just to reinforce it. But let me show you, I just added trim on some places, you know, on some of the edges on my pages. On the front, I added the um, the string here and in the back, I added here on the, on this side. So that's what I did. Also on the first one, I made a mistake and you see this little notch here? I did a notch on my cover. <laughs> so I went ahead and covered my, um, little notch that I did on the bottom here with this, the, um, part of the scrapbooking kit that I'm using from um, Hobby Lobby. And here I may place a sentiment. Um, that's why I leave this blank because I had these stamps set that have bees and they have sentiments. So I'm thinking to use one sentiment here. Then um, on the front, I did the little notch too, but when I was adding this string, I rip off my paper. So I just went ahead and removed the old paper and put a new one. So now this one don't have the notch here because I made a mistake. And then this one on the front don't have the washi tape here. That's the only difference. And I think I'm gonna leave it like that. I don't know, I didn't like how the washi tape looks on this side, maybe. And I already used almost all my trim, so I don't have a lot left. Um, I wanted to use the yellow one and maybe rain for this. I don't know if I like the blue one right there. Maybe I'm just gonna keep this here on the side just in case. Uh, look, I have a piece of yellow. I think I'm gonna use this just to reinforce that. So let me put that there. And let me see what else did I, um, and that's it for my mini journal. I did add, and I already cut um, my journaling space, which is gonna be on the pages on the back. I did my tuck spot, some of my pocket, belly bands. I also went ahead and did, I have ready my journaling cards and some tags. But I didn't do a lot. I know we're going to have a lot of pocket, more than 20. So I just did some just to show you. But, you know, I will add more stuff later on. If I keep this one, I may add on the pocket, you know, pictures and stuff. It, don't, it doesn't have ephemera and things like that. It doesn't have to be tax and journaling card. Um, on the pockets here, they're really big. Let me... So you have two, one in the front and one in the back. And another thing that happened to me, that glue that I use, you see right here, um, my tacky glue is not good to, 
um, use it in plastic. So I didn't have any other glue. So I just been reinforcing my pages with my glue gun. Um, I had to find out what glue works better on plastic, but I didn't have any available. So I just been reinforcing my pages with my glue gun. Um, you know, but I'm trying to use what I have available at home. I didn't want to spend more money looking for a glue that works on the plastic. But maybe if I next time I will use my heavy um, gel or something like that. I am pretty sure that will work. But that will be for the next project. This one is already there at the, almost done. So I'm not going to worry about that. And let me show you what we are using. The paper pad that I'm using for this project. It's this one, B Floral from the Paper Studio. This is from Hobby Lobby. It was $21.99, but I got this paper like a couple of weeks ago, um, um, half off. You know that Hobby Lobby have a week where you get the Paper Studio brand 50% off. So I got this paper and today I went to um, Hobby Lobby and get this scrapbooking um, paper crafting kit. And it brings the paper pad, the paper is um, cardstock. This one just bring regular paper, but it's the same, it's, it has some of the same paper that the paper pad brings. This one is just that is regular paper. And the one on, let me show you here. The paper pad had like foil, gold accent, and this paper don't, but that's the only difference. Then the paper crafting kit bring 37 pieces. It bring um, tw um, 10 or 12 by 12 paper, two of each design, so five designs. Bring stickers, the letters, it brings die cut shapes. So, and this one is cheaper, it's only $6.99 and you can get it half off um, because it's the paper studio. So you don't have to go and get the paper pad. You can, if you wanna use the same paper and the same things that I'm gonna be using here, um, then this is a cheaper option and this is from Hobby Lobby. Let me show you. Here are the stickers. That I, I may be using. This is the die cut, and that's where I get these three pieces here. Four, so one, two, three, four. There are four different pieces. It's from the die cuts, and then for the front. Right now we're gonna do the front last. I'm thinking to use this frame and this flower and something of the other die on the front. But I'm gonna keep this on the side right now because what we're gonna do right now is add our pockets and the talk spot and you know all the things before we move on to more decoration i also gonna add let me show you here this is gonna be my journaling space this is is index cards the larger ones this one's four by six and I cut them to, you know, to the size that I want. I don't remember right now. I think it was, um, I don't remember. Um, let me measure it for you. I always write that, the measurements, but I forgot. So this is three and three quarters by five. So I cut my journaling my index card and i didn't like how it looks with the lines going down so you're just gonna use my white side and then for my other journaling card this one's i use um this index card this ones are three by five and this one i didn't cut that down i use the same size of my index card um i just run my corner and you have a little heart i have a puncher that have around the corners and you had that little heart on the corner so 
So that's what we're going to be using. And the index card, I got them at Dollar Tree. So on the back of each of my page, I'm going to add my journaling space. And I don't mind to cover this because, you know, um, I'm repeating the pages in different places. So, and I want this to be more functional than only having pockets with tag and journaling cards. I want some journaling space because even for example, I was thinking to use this and put some picture here. So I can bring no here and saying, you know what the pictures are that are inside are like, for example, I go a lot hiking. I have my own um like travel notebook my hiking journal and i usually what i do if i collect uh, pieces of things that i find on the trail like flowers on the floor leaves different things and i glue them to my journal and i add the map of the hike so here maybe I can put pictures and then write a note here where I where I went to hike that day and the the date and you know some information. So if I keep this, what well, that's what I'm thinking to do. So I'm gonna add the pictures and stuff inside and then I will know just to keep it and maybe some of my ephemera and other stuff. So that was my thinking for that but you can add anything that you want and i just using my fast grab tacky glue to attach my journaling space uh, you know my journaling cards or space to my pages and if you want to know the measurements of the paper that you know the size to cover your uh, album and all and you know, the size of everything that I cut, just, you know, watch the first video. I give the measurements there. Okay. This video, um, the second tutorial is just decoration and I wanted to show you what I did with um, the, the, the trim, on the edges and and I um I have a puncher that do that this effect on the edges on the corner around the corners with that design. I think I put it away um but that's what I use. I use a puncher that had this design. So it rounds your corners and then cut this design to your paper. I distress the edges using my sunflower um, archival ink and my teasel, which is the blue. I will show you soon. Let me finish gluing this one. This is the archival ink. This is the sunflower, which is the yellow. Uh, and I use the cobalt is the blue one that I used today. My washi tape, I had different one. I used this one from Walmart and the other one, um, this one. I don't have it anymore. I use what I have left on this project so I cannot show it to you, but you can see it here. This paper is so beautiful. I used it before in another project, before I, I was um, doing tutorial. I had, at first I had the scrapbooking kit. This is the second one that I buy. Um, because I really love the die cuts with all the bees and all the things that this bring and it's cheaper than buying the paper pad, but I really love this paper that much so I decided to buy the paper pad plus it's cardstock and since I love to do like bees team on my projects 
that's a perfect paper pot for me. So I find out that if I um, don't tie this to tie my, my binding, my um, ribbon, my book can lay flat like that. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. And later on, you can add more pages to your album because, you know, it's ribbon. If it get too thick, you can change the size, the length of your ribbon that you're binding, you know, binding your journal and you know make it more thicker like more bulky or you know you have you can make more room when you start putting stuff you maybe your journal this mini journal will get more bulky so with the ribbon binding you can change your ribbon and make it longer that way you have more space more room to grow your journal so I really like that idea of the open spine with the binding, you know, using the ribbon as binding instead of the pamphlet stitch or the other stitches. Because you can always open, you know, take this ribbon off and put a longer one and you will have more room to make, you know, to grow your um, journal, your album. We are almost done adding this. Our journaling space. I distress the edges, some have um, yellow, some are blue, so I'm trying to alternate them. That's why you keep um, seeing me uh, going back and check the previous page. Because I'm trying to alternate. I wasn't paying attention too much, but hopefully I did alternate them like I wanted to. I don't know if you can see, but I distress the edges. This one is yellow. This one is blue. And I try to keep everything on the same colors. Um, I didn't use any like cream color um, trim because I do have some paper on this prior that is that color, but I just wanted to keep it yellow and blue mostly. This is the cream color. Let me see if I have like this. This is like a cream color, but I don't have many of the pages. I think I have like maybe three that are dark color. Okay, so we are done with our journaling space on our pages. So let's go back. And let's start decorating, adding our pockets. I wanna use this ones like corner pocket, corner tuck spots. I don't know how you call this. Here on the cover, like that. sure that this is attached and this is my I added some double-sided tape I was gonna use my glue gun because this tape is not the best I think this one is from Dollar Tree I need to buy more um, double-sided tape but right now 
the one that I have is from Dollar Tree and it's not that good. Sometimes you have to be careful because when you add your tax and stuff, this come off. Like the, this tape is not the best. But for now, just you know, for the purpose of this, what I do when that happens, I just reinforce it with my glue gun. I everything, I fix everything with my glue gun. But if you have, you know, other glue um, or other stuff, then you can use what you like to use that work better for you. I just have what I have available at home and for my budget, so. Okay, so let's see. Well, let me show you what I did with on the first video. I have a Hobby Lobby gift card that I wanted to repurpose and use it here. You see it said gift card. And I just went ahead and covered the Hobby Lobby um, logo and I put be happy. And then I added this lace here, this trim. I want to use this as a pocket. Maybe I will use it here on the first page of my journal. I didn't put um, double-sided tape because this is kind of heavy. I just going to use my glue gun and see, and hopefully it will work. But sign is have bees. I wanted to use it on this project. And I'm just gonna leave it to dry before I add anything there. So let's move on. Let's see. I did some belly bands. They're not gonna be the same size of my page because I had this notch here. So it doesn't matter to me if they are not the same size of the page because I just want, you know, to have some um, space where I can put my, some journaling card or other stuff. So I don't mind that, but if you don't like the belly band smaller than your page, just don't do this notch or place it somewhere else. But let me see, I didn't want to cover that much of this page. This is a talk spot that I did. I did this one, this one. Maybe I will use this one here. Let me check my pockets. I did four pockets. Let me get them. Maybe this one. I like this one. Let's do this one on this page. Pressing this down. Okay, so let's see. Let me see. Maybe this one. But I already have a pocket on the other one. Let me, see. Let me get all my stuff here. Maybe I can place it like this. But you can hardly see that there. It has to be... I think I'm going to go with this one. 
right here. So let's see this one. This one, I think I'm gonna do this stock spot. Let me see if I like it like this. to see I think this one gonna go there and then I have this one this this is I can see that my thing is not straight my belly one. trying to see what I like. I think on this one, I'm gonna go with this right there. Or do I like it? I think I like it better on this side. And this is gonna be a tuck spot like that. This one I'm gonna add it there. I think it goes like this, yes. This one that had the lace in the back, I'm just gonna use my glue gun. It's gonna be too heavy for my tape. Removing the extra glue there. So that's my belly band right here. This one will have another belly band. Okay, now it's gonna be a belly band. I was gonna put it here like a pocket, but let me see what else. Here, let me see, maybe this one. I think I'm gonna go with this pocket here.
toilet paper is coming off. So, please, if you know if a glue that works good on plastic like this, let me know. I think with my heavy um, gel, I think I can use it for this because I have used it to apply, you know, to glue metal down. So, but if you have done something like this, let me know what works for you or oh, what can I use? Because, you know, this is the first time that I'm trying to work with the plastic of my pages of the album. I was trying to see if I had I don't know where I put the photo album because I clean my desk a little bit. I have so many things going around, so I don't know where I put it right now, but I wanted to show you. Okay, so this pocket will go here. But I'm gonna try that if another page of my project come off, I just gonna get my jelly, my gel, my heavy gel, and I will experiment with this in that way. But I will get later on, I will experiment with the other pages that I had left from the album, and I will check you know myself but as you know anything that worked for you let me know and this is the last one our last belly band let me put more glue So it's looking pretty, pretty. Mama, let's do the cover. Let me just take it off so I can work better with my cover. And I may use some of the, sentiments and add some sentiments, you know, around. Let's see, let's see, let's work here on the cover and see what I like. I was thinking to put like a piece of this just to give some interest, some texture. We just got a piece and see if I will use this. And this is just, um, I think it was um, mesh ribbon. I found this at Dollar Tree white, color white, and this one that is a, like a cream color. I haven't found it again. I've been looking for it because I really like this to give like um, texture to my project. So let's see what we have here. this don't worry be happy let's see what else do we have here be kind this is so pretty um, the combination of colors I know I want this flower around here somewhere let's see
I kind of like this. What do you think? Let me see. What else do I have here? No, I like this one better. Maybe, maybe. It's, kind of, it's like kind of hard to see that there. I don't like that because the background is yellow. I don't like it. I think I'm gonna go with this. I'm not gonna think about it too much. So let's start gluing stuff. I know I haven't used black on this one, but this is the one that I like. I was in between this one is like too plain, too small. So let's go with this one. Let's don't think about it too much. start with our frame you know me if I start thinking about it I will not end this project today let's add my little flower like that right there and don't worry be happy I like this I didn't distress it let me distress I know you can see it but I can see that white edge there and I know it's gonna bother me a little so let's just stress it real quick and this will go here oh I love it do you? I love it. No, I don't like it. I'm gonna keep it for something else. Let me see. No, I don't want sticker on the cover. I have some pearls here. I have this blue one. I don't think that I have yet. Like, I had those cream one, like pearl color. Maybe I can use some of that. Let's see. Let's place some some places. Maybe here in the no, you can hardly see that one there. Let's see. I'm gonna put some in random places. I'm not gluing them down with my glue gun just in case I change my mind. I'm just gonna place them and see if I like it or not. I get this at Dollar Tree. I'm pretty sure you already know that because I'm pretty sure some of us that like to um, buy stuff from Dollar Tree, we have seen this there. Let me see. Just on the larger flower, I just gonna keep it simple like that for now. So let's start. Let me put this aside and let's start adding like sentiments and stuff to our pages. I I like the cover like this. I think I am done. Let me cut this here, trim this here a little bit. So what do you think? Do you like it? I like it. 
I will add a last here. Let me get my stickers out and see if I want to use any of the sticker. Let me put this away for now. Let me use this little flower somewhere. Put it to the side and let's get the sticker out. This one, I feel like it don't need anything else. So let's move on. On this, I want a stamp. I don't want... gonna go over with my stickers and then we will use the stamps I don't think I'm gonna add anything there kind of like that there but Okay, I like that. Maybe I will use BCSAB here. The sticker are so thin, like very frail. That's it for the sticker. Uh, I, I want to use this little flower somewhere. Let me see. I guess not. Maybe here. But it, I don't have another one to use on the front. So I don't know. Maybe I will use it on, the, on this one. On the front one, yes, I'm gonna use it on this one. My glue gun turned off, so let me connect it there for a moment while I still working on the stamping now. Okay, so let's put the stickers aside. I don't think that I'm gonna use any of the stickers. And let's do some stamping, starting on my back cover. Right here. Let's see, I have Be Happy. Life is sweet, meant to be, let me see, I got these stamps at Hobby Lobby, let me see, this one be kind, let's see. Let 
I think right there we can use it using the blue ink. Hopefully I won't mess it up. It's something I get afraid to stamp and mess my project up. right there because of the flower I think that's good enough I don't want to mess it up but I say be kind let me put it aside because I don't want to touch it I don't know kind of I don't know if it will move around so let me let that dry so let's see let me see if I want to add anything to this This one say always be yourself. And I think I'm gonna use this Canva paper that I use on another project. Let's see how it looks here. this a little crooked but I like it there so let's use it there and we distress the edges charging so let me just use my tacky view here Let's use this one, life is sweet.
I really like this canvas paper. I have so many things around. I oh, look with my block. Let me clean it. Let me use the smaller one. I um, stay in my paper there, but that's fine. I don't mind that. My block is messing up my stuff. I have to clean the edges. Okay. I think we want another B. Let's do one here. See if I want anything else. You don't have to decorate everything, you know. I think we're good now. So let's put the stamps away. We're done with the stamps. Stand full on the floor. You can see it right now, but I will look for it. Let me just move all this out of the way. And we're gonna add the your nine cards and I don't think I'm gonna use more of this, so let's put this away too.
I'm sorry, I just put in some things away where we can see the project better instead of having all this mess here. Okay, so let me clean this ink. So let me put my cover. Oh, and for this hole, I use this puncher that I got at Hobby Lobby. I think this is $17.99 um, and I got it with the 40% off, but I really, really wanted that to have that. But you know what? I wanted to add this right there just to reinforce this. Um, but I have plastic on the bottom. I don't think that I'm going to add it. Because I had the plastic from the, you know, the cover of the album. at the cover in the back hopefully this is dry it can look like let me get a wipe and see if it will wipe off if it will I will add something there let's see yeah so I'm just gonna cover this with something else because it, I don't like that. So let's do that real quick. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stamp the sentiment on the canvas and then add it there and cover that. Let me see what, let's see. I know I, I say I was blown, but let's do this real quick because I don't like that there. Let me, sorry, let me get my block. Let's try this one more time. better let's see I need to clean my stamps Cut this. Just trying to leave a, a, a like the white edge. Oh yeah, perfect. Let me distress the edges and we will glue this down and we are done with the decoration. I like it a lot better. I don't know why I don't think about that first.
That's perfect. I know I have some smudges around of the blue, but that's fine. I don't mind. I don't mind my flower to be covered there. I, I love how it looks. So let's add this. I like this idea of the open spine. I've been experimenting with it. Okay, so let me make sure that my ribbon is the same length on both sides. It's even. Don't have to be perfect, but. And then the last one, and then we will add the journaling card and stuff, and we are done with this project. I really like how it turns out. And I don't want to tie this too tight, because my album is getting chunkier <laughs> let me make sure before i close the other ones okay Let's see, I don't know if uh, here I had to use something smaller. So I will do that later. Let's, no, this one is the same. I have four journaling cards. Let's do, let's do a blue one for now here. I'm not gonna put on every, um, something on every pocket and stuff because I just wanted to show you, you know, I need a lot of stuff to fill this out. So right now I'm just gonna put some things on this so you can see. That's yellow. I just gonna put it there for now. And then, One there, and let's do one of this one. trying to see my pockets because I don't want to um, separate my paper like I did there. Um, 
I really need to reinforce my pages, but I, I can see uh, here the plastic of my, let me use a blue one on this one, but where's my pocket? Ah, right here. There, you can hardly see that plastic there. Oops, I had to glue that down. Let me turn my glue down. You see what I was telling you? But I wanted to do. Let me see. Let me get my gel medium and we will find out right now. Let me see where my gel medium is. This is heavy, super heavy gel and see. We will experiment. I will let you know later on how this works. I'm using my Liquitex Gloss Super Heavy Gel because I had glue metal with this. So, okay, so now I want maybe one of the ribbon ones here. Using my plastic. I need better lining on my room, definitely. Did I shut down my pockets? Yeah, just a little bit there. Maybe here we can use this one. And then the last one that we're gonna add today is out of here. I should have cut this plastic. I can hardly see my pocket. <laughs> Sorry guys, it's dark. It's night here and my room is kind of dark. I'm a little blind. So I, let me keep my gel here because I think I'm gonna reinforce all my pages with that, but we are done. Let me accommodate my pages, my bows. You can put the bows on the top, but I want them right here on the side. So let me move them right there on the back. Look how pretty. So that's it. We are done with our project. So this is our front, the back, our bows. You already saw inside and look how pretty this look. I tried to put different things. The ribbon, this, this eyelash trim is gold and cream, so it will tie everything down, up, or I don't know how you say that. I they had this little watch tape, but I don't think I'm gonna use it anywhere. So, so this is it. Thank you for watching, everyone. I hope that you have enjoyed this project. This has been an experiment with the plastic sleeves and all that. I had never done any project with that. So I think it turns out real good. And just um, let me know in the comments if you have used any other glue that works in plastic. I already know that my tacky glue don't work on the plastic sleeves. Maybe the other ones that um, people use, the um, glitter glue maybe, 
or maybe easy 6000 something like that i don't know but no the tacky glue and also the glue gun looks like it works because when where i reinforce my pages i didn't have any problem with the glue gun but i think i'm gonna try to do another project just you know i'm not gonna do a tutorial i'm just gonna do something small and glue my paper to i'm just gonna do an experiment and use my gloss super heavy gel on my plastic cover and maybe i will leave a comment below or maybe i will add i probably will add a little note on the description box letting you know if this work or not on the plastic so thank you for watching everyone if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so i already today i hit the 400 subscriber hopefully nobody will um subscribe um so my next goal will be to have 450 subscribers so please Give me a thumbs up so YouTube will recommend my video. Um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And leave a comment below. Let me know how what do you think about this project. And if you like it, give me ideas, um, recommendations on glue and stuff. I would really appreciate if you participate and, you know, interact with me. So thank you so much for watching. Happy crafting, everyone. Good night.